Sam Dolly here, and I'm going to talk to you about the Astros Meltdown, because it's real, people. They have the 25th ranked ERA since the end of the All-Star break, and this is part of the schedule where it's actually considered the weakest half of their schedule. And the Astros are playing, like, awful. They are terrible. They've gone from... And this is actually stemming from the comments that Dallas Keuchel made about the trade deadline. The, the Astros not improving. Same thing with Josh Reddick. I know a lot of people come out and said, why win a team 28 games above 512 games ahead in their division? Believe in themselves. Well, maybe because they are around each other almost every single day and they know if they've got it. They obviously, the guys who are, who are playing this game obviously believe they don't have it. If they don't have enough to beat Cleveland's, the Boston's, the Yankees, and certainly not the Dodgers, who will just continue to steamroll through the season. You know, see what happens in October. Obviously, October baseball is a lot different than uh, the regular season. But Jeff Luno has failed the Astros and has failed his core. By doing so, I think if you ask me, he's destroyed the Astros as much as he's built the Astros. Why? Because I don't see Carlos Correa, George Springer, Jose Altuve, Dallas Keiko, Lance McCullers, and even Alex Bregman staying long-term with this team. They're not going to stay with a GM who's not committed to winning. They want to win. They want to win the championship. And they're going to go somewhere where they feel like they have the legitimate shot of doing it. They're not going to go with the team that's going to be too cheap. I'm serious. The, the biggest offseason acquisitions that Jeff Luno has... As the, as the Astros GM, besides Yuli Gurriel, is Charlie Morton, Mike Fires, Doug Fister, and Carlos Gomez. That's a very weak. That's a very weak resume for a general manager. His drafting is great, but at the end of the day, if you're not making, at the end of the day, what you what you want to do as a team is you want to build a nice core, you want to rebuild, get a core, and then build build around that core for ten plus years. Well, the Astros did that under Drake McLean as the owner. They got the Killer Bees with Biggio, Bagwell, Burtman, and Oswald. They built around that core, and they ended up going all the way to the World Series in 2005, where they were swept by the Chicago White Sox, ironically, who just swept this year's Houston Astros with the worst record in the American League. That being said, I think Jeff Luno is officially in the hot seat. So is A.J. Hinch. I think if the Astros fail to make the playoffs, which I don't think, which now I think is a real, very, very, very real possibility, I think AJ Hinch should be fired too. You can say what you want. These guys have no leadership. They have no toughness, no mental toughness. They don't have the pedigree of a champion. And they don't have any answers on how to get out of their slump. And it's not a slump. This is the second time... In three years, A.J. Hinch and the Astros have posted a mediocre second-half record. After getting off to a hot start, 2015 they got off to a blazing start, faded at the end, got knocked out in the ALDS by the Kansas City Royals. This is the same story, hot start, only to flame out, and they will be knocked out in the first round. Right now, they've gone from looking like an invincible team to a team that's very much a team that could get swept out of the ALDS. Maybe, I mean, right now... They have a five-game lead for the best record in the American League. They might want to clinch that because if they aren't careful, they're going to get the AL Central winner, and that's going to be Cleveland. And that's a better team than, well, if you ask me, I don't think it really matters anymore whether Houston gets the best record in the American League or not because as far as I'm concerned, but even the wild card teams could probably beat the Astros in a playoff series. You know, at the end of the day, the core guys want to believe that they're playing for a team that's going to be committed to winning, committed to going all out and trying to you know, go for the championship. And as Dallas Keuchel has notoriously said, you only get one shot at this. And he's right. You really do. You really you don't know how many chances you're going to get at a World Series. And much to Jeff Luno's beliefs... The Astros should start. The Astros should seriously start thinking about punting away some of these prospects and going after some of these big names like Chris Archer, Garrett Cole. You know they didn't. They had a shot to get Sonny Gray and didn't take it. They had a shot to get Hugh Darvish and didn't take it. Yeah, you know, sometimes you just gotta be willing to pay the price to try and win a championship. That's sports. 
you, you just got to take the risks. I mean, you look around in the NBA with Daryl Morey. I mean, look how, look what he's done. He sabotaged the Rockets bench to go get Chris Paul. Why? Because what the Rockets currently had last year was not good enough to get past San Antonio. So what does he do? He trades it all and goes and gets the top five point guard, in my opinion, and a surefire Hall of Famer and Chris Paul. And now he's trying to get Carmelo Anthony, the Houston Texans in the NFL. You need a quarterback to win in the NFL. So what did the Texans do? They moved up 13 spots in the draft to take Deshaun Watson. There's risk in sports. And the teams that take the risk to try and win, those are the teams that more often than not are cheered and applauded for their efforts. It's about the effort to win. The Astros front office has shown no effort to win whatsoever. They've got a nice record. They're falling apart. But it's all going to come undone because one AJ Hinch is too weak of a manager to get it done. They're just too mentally inferior to to essentially win a championship. You guys, there's, there's a there's a certain level of toughness required to win a, a win a championship in any sport. And this team isn't tough. It's not gritty. There's no leadership. And like I said, if AJ Hinch was a World Series winning manager, we would have seen him win one. In Arizona. I mean, heck, there's a reason he was fired in Arizona. Much to people's chagrin. It, 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 people can say, well, the talent level was terrible. Sure enough. Yeah, okay. Maybe the talent wasn't, maybe the talent wasn't there in Arizona. But the, the truth is, the Astros' talent is there because they stunk for so long. They finally rebuilt. They drafted well. And they developed right. And I mean, now they're one of the best teams in the league with their... But now, with a shot to be more in the, to be a memorable team, to be a team that people think back on five years from now and think, "Wow, that team did that team win the World Series? That team went all out, try and win it, failed, but tried." Yeah, there's, there's there's something to be said for trying, and these Astros are simply aren't trying anymore. They're too weak, physically and mentally. Like I said, they quit in the season. I think it's bad for the city of Houston. I encourage all Astros fans to just boycott the season. Don't go to the games. Don't pay the insane ticket prices for a team that's quit on you. So, but we'll see what happens in the final two months of the season. This is a time of the year where the Astros, they need to be playing their best baseball. And they're not. I know they're not healthy. That doesn't excuse anything. The best farm system in baseball clearly isn't helping them. It's time to punt it away. Some, punt some of these prospects away. And if they miss the playoffs, which I think they will, it's time to fire AJ Hinch and Jeff Luno and find guys who are going to be, who are going to look at this roster and go, "Ooh, this is a good roster, but we need more," and they're going to do what it takes to win. And that starts at the top with Jim Crane, and it trickles all the way down to the coaching staff. These guys don't want to be here anymore because they don't believe in you. You got to show them by going out and getting Justin Verlander. That you still believe in winning because that's what the core is here for. The core is here to build a winner and to be a, the back the backbone of the team. And they're not really. <clears throat> and if they don't believe that they can win with what they have, you gotta listen to that. You gotta listen to Carlos Correa. You gotta listen to Josh Reddick. You gotta listen to Dallas Keiko because it is, these are the guys that are that are gonna lead the charge. And if they think that they can't get it done without getting some help then that just speaks volumes to what they believe. And they don't really believe in each other. But they don't believe that they have the team to win the World Series. And quite frankly, before the season, I didn't think they had it either. They had plenty of offense. Pitching's a concern. Defense is a bit concerning. Their health is very concerning. But also, this, like I said, this is the second time in three years that A.J. Hinch has posted a below 500 record after the All-Star break. They've took the foot off the gas, and I think this is a this isn't this isn't a sl- this isn't a slump. This is the beginning of an epic meltdown that will lead to the Astros not making the playoffs, and could mean the end of the core group of Altuve, Correa, Springer, Bregman, Keiko, and McCullers. But you know, six weeks, six weeks until the playoffs start, they're not playing very well. The the AL wildcard race is heating up. Bunch of mediocre teams trying to get in the playoffs. Well, except for with the exception of maybe Kansas City and uh, the Yankees. 
but for the most part, it's the teams that are either at 500 or below 500 that are making the run in the wild card. So we'll see what happens. Bryce Harper got injured with the Washington Nationals today. So just a little bit of MLB news. I don't know how serious the injury is. It sounds serious, but we'll know in the next couple of days just how bad it is. Washington is, a again, a division leader. They're trying to be a World Series team like the Astros. They just don't have the bullpen to do it. So we'll see what happens in the coming days, whether or not they try to add a bullpen arm <clears throat> or what they do through waivers these next couple of weeks. This has been Sam Dolly. Thank you for watching.